Hey guys, this is another deck review. This is a Victoria Regina Tarot, you guys. And this deck is absolutely stunning. Um, it's in regards to Queen Victoria, the time of Queen Victoria, the story behind Queen Victoria. The, the deck is beautiful, even though it's huge. Um, it, yes, it depicts the Victorian age, but I love it. And this is why I get rid of a lot of whitewashed decks, no matter how much I love the decks, no matter how much I respect the artwork on the decks is the this deck is one of the reasons why it's because it shows that people understood um the the regard that other, that you have to have for other cultures even though this deck is an oldie but a goodie a lot of people would like to trim it cut it up but this deck is a is a uh, collectible it's um very expensive i think it costs like 170 dollars and it just shows the different cultures the, the gypsies, the warriors, the different clans of people, Indian people. And also, I love the fact that the author and creator of this deck included the fact that uh, the queen is also the empress of India. Okay, the queen of England is also the empress of India, and a lot of people don't know that. And I feel like this deck includes that story in where it's two cultures intertwined with one or many cultures intertwined with one. Um, I love that it's black and white, that it doesn't have a lot of color, even though I would prefer color in a deck. But I feel like color in this deck would take away from the story. The coins are clocks. The swords are guns the cups are uh mason jars the queen is the queen it's just diversity all around the board honey yes and then what did i say what did i say and then the wands are pencils i'm right our pens our feathered pens are the wands If you don't like nudity, this is not a deck for you. I love the fact that this deck is one of those deck that allows you to go into one of the world. And the book is very, very well read. This deck does not take away from the fact that slavery existed, that, that, that diversity um, of different people, of different thoughts were actually very active back then on the planet. It's not how they make it seem now that people were, you know, closed off to uh, knowledge. And they really weren't. They're actually probably more knowledgeable about what has happened or what has not happened than we have than we have been actually i feel like um media uh takes away from us a lot nowadays because they don't want us to know because the frequency is too high and in each queen card it's always queen victoria let's see if i find the other queen cards mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. see different cultures the book, I'm telling you, the book is absolutely well written and it's beautifully well, well written. And this is probably the most beautiful sun card in all of my collection. I don't know why it it attracts, uh, I, I'm, I'm so attracted to it. I rarely read with this deck, not because it's not something that I want to read with. Um, I love reading with the deck. But I feel like it's mostly for past life readings and love readings as well. Okay, I might have lost one of the queen cards. But the, the cards that I have here. Oh no, look. This is Queen Victoria when she was younger. It's still Queen Victoria. All the queen cards are, are the queen. Um, some people are not going to like the fact that it's like the same card twice so the queen of there's the two queens of coins in the deck and there's re, there is repetitive imagery in the deck oh there is repetitive repetitive imagery in the deck that a lot of people aren't going to like but i don't mind it the deck is a little bit bigger than most decks so i would not read in reverse with the deck but it has so much detail that you can still catch the reversal meaning of 
the cards okay it the cards also tell a beautiful story no matter the fact that it's black and white the cards tell a story and that's very important in a tarot some some tarot decks cannot tell a story if you put all the cards together no matter how much imagery they have but this does tell a story um the card can the the um the deck itself can be sometimes a little sad because i don't think that queen victoria had a uh, an amazing life or such a fabulous life i think that her emotions um weren't always met and people she wasn't like emotionally satisfied with things and that's why she probably had so many quote-unquote lovers or it is assumed that she had so many quote-unquote lovers because she was emotionally disconnected um a lot and it does have a lot of sadness in it even though it does tell the history of the world through the eyes of the life of Queen Victoria. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please check out my 60 second first impressions on Instagram. Um, and make sure that you guys like, share, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.